Now's the time to get a drink, Dogness. Yeah, glacier water. Literally. Nice. You got a little sticker in your papa? What you got? Come here. Ouchie. Check that out. Man, it's tough filming and hiking. Look at her papa and see if she's not raw on it. She may not, she may not be able to do the summit if she's toast. We'll check her out in the tent. Allie the mountain dog doing what she's been trained for, hiking in some very rugged terrain. I'll tell you that. There you go, pick that route. That's good. Giddy up. Good girl. Good hiker. Good hiker. Woo. Glacier Olympics, Alley the Mountain Dogs up second. Her style kind of sucks. Not really sure of herself. Good girl! <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Good girl, dog. Giddy up. Go on. There's our beloved Allie the Mountain Dog. We're out on one of our rehabilitation walks, as we have been for the past couple of weeks. And this is an update on how she's doing. First up, a huge thank you to all our friends across the world that have sent us well wishes for Allie's recuperation after her knee surgery. For the love they have for this dog like we do as a family, we thank you. It is touching to us. You've seen that perhaps in the other update videos. The contributions which helped pay for Allie's surgery were very humbling for us and we're thankful for them. Special thanks to KS, you know who you are. Very helpful, very thankful to all the TMPers out there who love and support us in the project and this girlfriend right here, Allie the Mountain Dog. So this is an update video on how she's doing. Go something like this. I got her in a sit command here in the park because there's a, a dog off leash running around. Uh, and by the way, I never put Allie on a leash. It's very, very rare. She is a leashless trained dog that I can put her at a heel command, that is to my left side, she'll stay there. The reason I have to put her on a leash in post-op, and that's where she is, about four weeks post-op, is because she is an adventure dog, and she's used to booking it and running. She's a high activity dog, always has been, and that has actually complicated the recuperation for us immensely. Um, ideally, post-operation, um, as the surgeon told us, as we have found out in our own research, you don't want them running around and jumping. I will tell you that has been impossible to do with Allie. That despite our best efforts, she has jumped when we weren't looking onto her favorite uh, lookout posts, we'll say, and climbed stairs. We did our best. Hopefully that doesn't result in, I don't know, a, a rupture of some sort back here in the leg. Um, I just got through talking to a really awesome TMP or two, and he, he watched the post-operative -op uh, update vid when we're listening to the surgeon talk, and he said, you sounded kind of disappointed in the operation they did on Allie. I, and I told him, I was like, you're very perceptive, because I was. Uh, I was under the assumption, like in my own knee, which, have ha which has had four surgeries, they were actually going to graft from another area, perhaps, and reconstruct the ACL. From my understanding, that's not what they did. There were two strands of ACL. They snipped one, and that's it. Okay, so yeah, I was a little bit disappointed on that. But from what I've learned, that's the procedure they do in dognesses like Allie. Okay, yes, you heard your name. Did you hear your name? <laughs> you stay. You're not going out. See, she's asking right now if I can have a free command to go out. The answer is no. You're not allowed to run yet. She's in recuperation. Okay, so um, the way she, she's doing is, uh, our, 
the extent in which she's recovering, about four weeks post-op, she's still not using this leg normal. She sits lazily. You saw that first sit. Um, it's, and we do go through kind of a physical therapy with her. Mrs. Nutt and Fancy researched a doctor out there that specializes in dog um, post-operative recuperation techniques. And we've been using a lot of those. That is, like we'll put her, we'll, uh, put her leg through a series of motions when she's laying down to help stretch, not, I don't know if stretch is the right word, but help exercise the leg and get it back to where, where it was, hopefully. At this stage, honestly, I don't, I don't know where she's gonna be in three months, to be honest. I don't know if she'll be to her former activity level, and we probably have about two months until we can start working her again. Um, she's still in rehabilitation. Um, she is reluctant to climb stairs, but she does it when she's motivated. Um, she's not reluctant to run after something that interests her, which is something like right now, she's looking over there at that other dog. Well, at least in the location of that other dog. There's another side of this recuperation that you pet owners might be able to relate to, and it is kind of part of Allie and, and my uh, relationship, and that is she is very close to me as her alpha. Uh, and I don't know how to put it other than it's... It's kind of a spiritual relationship. It really is. I mean, ever since she's eight weeks old, she spent a lot of time with me. I took her with me 24-7. She's really strongly bonded to me, uh, to the whole family, but especially to me. And dropping her off at the vet, going overnight of the surgery, it, it kind of damaged her emotionally, to be honest. And it's taken a lot longer, actually, than I thought to recuperate from that. Uh, she was acting weird for weeks after that. Um, kind of like uh, really out of character. I still think emotionally she's healing. Uh, here's another reason why is because we don't want her to jump and run and so when we tell her no and forbid her from doing those activities she takes it as a punishment. You follow? And so we've been dealing with that last several weeks. We'll tell her N-O and she doesn't know we're doing it for her leg. She interprets that as a punishment. She's not able to hang out with the pack the way she normally has. So yeah, it's been a lot, um, relatively speaking. Not that huge of a deal, but that's where she's at right now. She's doing better and we go out of our way to make sure she knows we love her and get that, uh, that emotional self-esteem back to where it needs to be, okay? Uh, we're working that way. So there's your update video. Uh, where are we, you know, physically with the dog? Uh, we don't know yet, only time will tell. And I hope getting the surgery was the right call. I really do. Um, she was not doing super awesome before the surgery, though. Like I said, if I ran her, she'd basically go prostrate for four hours. Um, so I think we took the best course of action with Alley Dog here and sporting a new collar. Donated by an awesome TMPer. Thank you so much. Awesome TMPer. I mean, that's what we're talking about. It's a family out there. And that was sent to the P.O. Box. And thank you. Look how cool that is. TMT colors. Allie the Mountain Dog. We hope to have her hiking again. Back in the woods. Ops normal. Okay, dog. You can start walking now. This is nothing fancy. With Allie. You can see that leg in work, at work there. Better than it was two weeks ago. Keeping our fingers crossed. And thanking you for, again, all the things you do for us. See ya, this is that thing.
Nice.